mission right guys good morning um, yep we're on a bit of a different one today yes as you can probably see we are not in the countryside um, I gave uh, a challenge out to a fellow vlogger um, a couple of weeks ago Rachel Leck um, I'll put a link up for you um, it was quite a good vlog um, I done a morning mist so I challenged her to do a morning mist um, which he did and did a really good job of it. So you need to watch it. I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, yeah, I got a return challenge. Uh, the return challenge was something really strange. The return challenge was, I have a challenge for you. Go to the most boring, unattractive, unphotogenic, boring, unattractive, unphotogenic location you can think of and find a compelling image there. No restrictions on technique or creative strategy. Okay? Until next time, see you soon. Um, yeah, right. So, I'm in a supermarket. Well, I'm not. I'm in a, a retail park, car park. Why are you saying I'm in a retail car park? Well, because why on earth would you bring a camera here? Uh, why on earth would you want to take a photograph here? And what the hell am I going to take a photograph of? Um, yeah, that's the challenge. I'm in the challenge. And what's making it even more of a challenge is it's pissing down. It's raining. Excuse me, French. <laughs> yeah, it's raining. So I'm going to put my waterproofs on. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I'm going to put my waterproofs on and we'll see what we can do. But this is going to be interesting. There's a few cars turning up. I've got to work around people as they turn up for work in the morning. It's Sunday morning, so I'll pick my, pick my time. It's about... I don't know, it's just after eight, probably half past eight. Um, so I'm hoping there's not too many people around, but yeah, let's see how we get on with this one. Catch you in a bit. Yeah, you know, orange coat. <laughs> I've decided to make it a little bit more interesting, even more of a challenge and pushing the boat out even further. I'm gonna shoot with one lens only. I'm taking off my trusty kit lens and I'm putting on a lens I haven't used for a very long time. I'm going handheld with the 2.8 100mm prime lens. I haven't had this lens out for a long time. This is a macro lens and I'm fixed to 100mm. So this is going to make it even more interesting if I can find a photograph in the rain no filters, no tripod, because I'm going to leave it in the car now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to carry it around the car park. I'm going to take you with me and uh, pretty much going to see what I can find. I've got no camera strap, no tripod. Oh, I might have a camera strap. Let me just think on this. I always carry a camera strap in my bag. Yes, so I have got a camera strap. So I'm going to put the camera strap around the top. Um, this is what these Peak Designs clips are for, as you can see there. Look at that. Clip it on there. And uh, clip it on there. So if you wonder what those little red things were for, that's your camera strap. So don't have them very often. But that's it. Camera strap going over my head. And that's all I'm going to shoot with. The rest of it can stay in the car, cover it up, keep it dry. And I'll just take you, me, and this. Let's go.
of little um, silver birches. Now if I can get myself in a situation where I can hide the rubbish behind it, um, I might be able to get a photograph of a silver birch. Um, someone's parked their car behind it now, so there's not much point of that. Um, but at least there's a bit of greenage. People wondering what the hell I'm doing walking around in the middle of the car park with a camera in my hand, talking to myself, taking photographs. You never know, they might think I'm a press man or doing a study or something like that which is fine. Um, I have just taken a photograph of a homeless guy. Um, I was gonna go and say hello to him and give him a couple of quid and get himself a brew. Uh, up in the corner of the building, you can probably see him just over me uh, right hand shoulder. Um, I don't mind taking pictures of people like that. Uh, I do a little bit of street photography and they make very interesting photographs. You do feel sorry for them sometimes, but uh, Denise told me, she was actually telling me this morning, um, freaky enough, that she gave, uh, gave a lad a couple of quid the other week because um, she felt sorry for him when she went in the shop. So she gave him a couple of quid and uh, she went in the shop and buy something. She came out of the shop and he went walking past with a mobile phone in his ear. Guys, if you're begging and you don't need to beg, don't do it because the guys that do really need to do it, they really need to do it. And uh, you give it a bad name and the guys that are desperate don't get anything. So yeah, just don't do it. If you're not, if you're not desperate, don't do it. Um, yeah, let's have a look. I'm going to take a picture of these silver birds and see what happens. Um, I'm going to get down a bit lower if I can and uh, get down a bit lower and just see if I can fill the frame with the tree just to try and make uh, an interesting shot of it. It's going to take a bit of post-processing probably. Um, I can get a bit closer. I'm not used to using a fixed lens um, and 100 mil I haven't used for such a long time. It's hard to work out what the focal distance is. Um, so if I can get a bit closer, try and isolate it, put the sky behind it, um, maybe I can, maybe I can get an image out of it. But if you ever want to put yourself out of your comfort zone and uh, you're not sure, you're not sure um, what to do and how to do it, and stand in the middle of a car park with cars driving around you, that'll do it. But I'm always game for a challenge. Come on, let's face it. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Apart from someone beating me up and taking my camera away from me. All right, let's try something a bit different. Let's try a bit of macro. A um, little bit of macro, see if there's anything on, the, on these leaves. Little water droplets or something. The silver birches are beautiful. Um, got three little twigs. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. There's another one over that side. I'm going to walk around this side um, just to see if I can find any over there. <laughs> but I do feel silly. I'm also looking at the leaves on the ground as well because if I can find a nice leaf, um, I'm going to shoot that. Right, I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> right, I've just uh, got down on my hands and knees and shot this tree behind me there. Um, I don't know. It's definitely not an inspirational photograph. I am going to get closer though, because the silver birches, the, the branches or the, the, the trunks are so, so white. 
Um, I just wonder whether I can get a, a closer shot and just do an intimate shot. Let's have a look and see what we can find here. Um, look how look how white they are. Can I get a something different? Let's have a look. Another rookie mistake. They had the camera set to bracket in. It's um, difficult to try and isolate something that's different. Artistic flair, I think, is the answer. Artistic flair is definitely on the makings. Um, yeah, not easy. But it's definitely um, definitely a difficult one. This is. I'll give it give it to you, Rachel. You really did think out the box. I'm struggling. <laughs> I've only been here a little while, but I am struggling. I'm just snapping, and I. Let's put some thought into this. Let's have a walk round. Let's see what we can find. And uh, let's try not to get arrested. We've got a, a row of bushes here. There's got to be some leaves or something. Got to be some leaves, hasn't there? Row of bushes, some trees. If not, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Yeah, I've come along this fence line and uh, I'm going to have a look along here. There's some great colours on the, uh, the leaves where they're changing colours. And uh, there's some nice shapes to them as well. So, I'm just trying to isolate a few leaves and uh, see if I can get something that's, that works. Um, it's not an easy, it's not something I'm uh, overly comfortable with, um, leafy macro shots, but the colours of autumn are really nice, and that's a nice one. I can just get that one, that's quite nice, I like that. It's just on its own, shooting at 2.8 to blur out the background, um, and just picking off some colourful little leaves. There's another one around this side. It's quite nice. No, the light background doesn't work. Um, <laughs> yeah, but if we can get it right, it might be quite interesting. If you get it wrong, it just looks like a photograph of a leaf. We'll see. Uh, I'm shooting on auto ISO, just to let the camera control the ISO levels. Um, I'm at 2.8 and I've got my shutter speed at about 125, uh, 125th even, um, just so I can hold it still. At 100 mil, it shouldn't be too bad. Macro is difficult. Look at the colours of these leaves, they're really nice. Um, yeah, macro is difficult. I will do a macro video one day. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to try and take a few images, a few different colours of the leaves, uh, vary my um, depth of field, just see if I can get something that just pops out a little bit. It's, uh, it's difficult. Now, I always thought I was good at most things or reasonably good at most things. But this is very, very difficult. Right, and I've got another little red leaf here in the water. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get this one. I don't know. Right, I'll carry on having a look, see what I can find. Thank you.
I think I may have something. I think I may have something I quite like. Um, carry on walking around, uh, and I come across this shopping trolley. Um, I don't understand why people leave shopping trolleys all on their own. Poor little things. They get very lonely. They like to be with their mates undercover. Um, but yeah, little trolley all on its own, and it's in the square. And I like the fact that it's in that square. Um, it's quite a minimal image. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it colour or turn it to mono. Uh, I think mono will probably work, make it quite dark and make that little trolley pop out. Um, 100 mil is quite difficult, come as far back to the wall as I can get. Um, so that was a bit of a challenge. But yeah, I've taken a couple. Um, I'm going to try and have a look that side, but I think this side works better. Um, but the trolley is pointing out the image and I like things to point in. Um, so, so, so be it. It is what it is. Um, yeah, and I've also been looking at lines and shapes. Um, so yeah, I might be able to bob a few images up, but that one's quite nice. So I've taken that already. Um, it was 2.8, I don't know what the ISO was. I wasn't too worried about looking at the camera. I'm just taking them on semi-auto uh, and working with that. I might get down lower just to see if it works at different, if I get right down low. Um, it might work, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I like the fact that there's a trolley and I like the lines. And uh, I like the minimalism of the shot. Um, if I'm focus it, not focus it, see if I'm a little bit further in the frame. But yeah, 100 mil is proving to be difficult as well. Right, that's one that I'm not too bad with. Quite like that one. And it doesn't work from here at all because there's a drain right next to it. So yeah, cool, got that one. I'm sure that one's fine. Well, this has definitely been a challenge and a half. I've walked all around the uh, retail park. I've taken a few pictures of different people. Um, the odd person I just took a picture of a guy on the phone. Um, yeah, I've been looking down, been looking forward, been looking backwards. Walked all the way around. Um, really, 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 really struggled. Yeah, so I'm interested, Rachel, uh, what you come up with? Um, I came to the Grand Junction Retail Park, you can see behind me. Uh, got TK Mac, T Mac, Boots, Costa Coffee, KFC, Curry's, PC World. Oh, everything's here. Um, 
yeah. And until I get home with it under the computer, I won't know whether I've actually got an image or not. Um, definitely nothing that's uh, gonna win any awards, I'm for sure. But I enjoyed the challenge. Uh, thanks for the return challenge. You did make it extremely interesting and extremely difficult. Um, got me out of my comfort zone. And I've not finished yet. I'm gonna have a wander around um, and I'll bob them up at the end uh, just to let people see the images. And uh, yeah, thanks again. And uh, till next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. Got a lot more interesting stuff coming up, landscapes and stuff like that. So yeah, stay around, stick around, and uh, don't forget to tell a friend. Until now, till next time, uh, see you all again. Ciao for now. Bye. Thank you.